Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Killinger here. If you've been following along on my channel at all, you've probably heard me say it's all about the hunt. And what I mean by that is it really is all about the hunt. <laughs> Let me explain. A lot of you that follow my channel are probably into axes or antique tools, something along those lines. So when I say it's all about the hunt, I mean it's all about searching for that item. It's not so much as finding the item, it's more of the thrill of the hunt. Recently, I've been on a new hunt. Um, in the past, I've done uh, several, several different hunts. One of my most well-known is uh, collecting the entire lineup of Norland axes, uh, which I owe you guys a video on, but it, it's, it's a big project and it's gonna take a lot of time, so someday. But anyways, Currently, I'm on the hunt for a Norton IM313. Now, some of you are gonna Google this and go find that they still make this item. The difference is, is I'm on the hunt for an original one. So an original one would have had, well, let me back up. What is an IM313? I'm glad you asked. So an IM313 is basically a three, sharpening stone holder so it's it's a system that holds three different sharpening stones in a bath of oil the base is made to hold oil and the stones rotate to pick up the oil or be soaked in the oil and then you have three different grits to sharpen your knives or axes or whatever it is you're going to sharpen the original one was made out of cast iron and had a cast iron lid. They're awesome. The new ones are made out of plastic. Now I'm not bashing the new ones. Um, I'm sure they're fine, but I don't want a plastic one. I want an original cast iron one. So I've been on the search for them. I'm having a hard time finding one. Um, when they do come up for sale, they're very expensive. and um, I just have a hard time pulling the trigger on one. But the, you know, they don't come up for sale often. So, in the meantime, while I'm searching for this item, I ran across a similar item. And that's what I want to show you guys today. Alright, so this is what I've come up with so far. And it's pretty sweet. It's not the IM313, but it is sweet. So, basically, what we have here are two sharpening stones that rotate. Presumably one's coarse and one's fine. They're a little gunked up, so I can't really tell. But I mean, I can tell one's fine and one's coarse, but you get what I'm saying. This one's in pretty good condition. It's made by the Wolf, Wolf Manufacturer Co. Uh, Chicago, Illinois. Made in the USA. Um, it's called the Wolf Sharpener. Patent pending. Um, I don't see a date on this thing, but it's old. Um, you just don't see stuff made like this anymore, but it's pretty neat. It's got a cast iron base. Um, it's got a really cool old tag with those, uh, what are those called? Machine rivets. Everything's there. It's in pretty decent condition overall. The stones are a little gunked up and there's one little chip on this, uh, this knob. But other than that, it's all operational and it's there. So... I'm going to clean this up. I'm not going to call it a restoration. I mean, I might call it a restoration in the title, but um, I'm not going to repaint it or anything. All I want to do is get this thing operational. Now, originally, I was going to just replace the stones with, with whatever I wanted to put in there. Unfortunately, these stones, a weird size, seven inches long and two inches wide. I was unable to find sharpening stones in that length, so I don't know that I could get an 8 inch stone in there, and an 8 inch would not fit, and I don't know how much shorter you could go, I wouldn't want to go much shorter. So my only choice is, is to try and restore those stones, so I have an idea. Now I don't know how well this is going to work, and this is the first time I've ever tried this, but my thought process is this. 
I know you can flatten sharpening stones. Uh, typically, we flatten um, water stones, but and I don't see why you couldn't sharpen oil stones because the only difference really is whether you use oil or water. Now, these things are pretty gunked up with oil, so that may make it a bit challenging. So, what I did is reached out to the folks at SuperClean. <laughs> this is not a paid uh, commercial. Um, it's not really a sponsored video other than they did send me some product to use. Now, I've done video for them before, so that kind of was why I reached out to them. My original thought was I was going to soak this whole thing in Evaporust. The problem with Evaporust is it's not really a degreaser. It's, it's a, a rust dissolver. So soaking in Evaporust probably wouldn't do it any good. But my thought process is soaking this in some degreaser would get would loosen up the oil in the sharpening stones to give us a better shot at flattening these stones and bringing back some fresh material and rejuvenate the stones so we're going to try it we have nothing to lose super clean sent me a gallon of their uh, super clean degreaser i want to thank them for that uh giving me this degreaser to, to try this project on we have no idea if it's going to work or not i guess you guys will find out by the end of the video so Enough of me talking, let's get to work. guys I've let this stuff soak for a couple hours so let's see what it looks like I had to use an axe there for some weight 
Wow. Those really cleaned up. Nice. Nice. They appear to be the same stones. One's one side's coarse, one side's fine. <laughs> Quite the dish in there. So we'll have to try and flatten these next. But uh clean. All right, that degreaser uh really worked in there. Sucked all that oil right out of those stones. Let's see how this looks. Oh yeah, that's nice. Nice and clean. I could just get all this rinsed off. I'm probably going to take this in the house and rinse it in the sink. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. Find all my pieces, parts here. I'd say that the greaser works good for this application. Yeah. Stones are nice and clean now. So, I'll, uh, like I said, I'll rinse all this off. And then we'll flatten these stones the best we can. And let them dry out. They'll be good for service again. Stone's almost like it's bowed. Hopefully I can get those flat. I'll take this axe and rinse it off too. And get that degreaser off of it. Alright, let me take this stuff in and rinse it off. And then uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, slight change of plans. So I really hadn't planned on painting this. But... Um, yeah, it's missing so much paint. While well, I got it apart, I might as well throw a coat on it. And I have some of that hammered, hammered on, hammered on paint. Let's give it a quick coat. This is just a little self-etching primer. Okay, we'll let that dry. I gotta coat the bottom somehow. Probably should have hung it. Alright, so we got our main body all painted up. Turned out alright. Uh, we'll let this dry a little bit longer before we put the oil in, but it's... It's looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do here is attempt to flatten these stones. This uh, what I'm using is a DMT diamond plate and this is a 120 grit extra extra coarse and uh, I'm just going to use Windex for this because the Windex will evaporate and since these are oil stones we really don't want any water uh, in them so once we once we flatten them then we'll uh, we'll let them dry out completely before we put oil in them
you can see where it's where it's hitting <coughs> so there's a bit of a dish in the center so we'll keep working on this until it's flat all the way across All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. Overall, I'm really happy with how this thing turned out. The stones got uh, pretty flat, actually, using that method. Um, I used that DMT XX course. Uh, it's like 120 micron diamond plate. And those things are, uh, I think they're certified flat. I'm not sure, but they're flat. And they work good for, a bird just flew in here. Great. They work good for uh, flattening stones. Um, I have two of those. That one's kind of a dedicated stone flattener because it does take some life out of them. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. The only thing we'll do when this dries completely, I want to let it cure for a couple days. So I'll fill this reservoir with oil and then you just rotate the stones and they'll always be in oil. Uh, the stones really... I'm surprised on how nice the stones came out. They they really cleaned up and I was able to get them nice and flat and that uh super clean worked really well with, for that. Uh, I'm I'm amazed. So anyways, this is not the uh Norton IM313, but it will uh it will suffice for now. <laughs> I'll, 
I'll keep continuing my hunt and eventually I'll end up with the, the Norton IM313 cast iron unit in my collection. Uh, I get a kick out of sharpening. It's a skill. It takes lots of practice to, to master. I am by no means a master at sharpening anything. I'm still, I'm still uh, practicing, but there's a lot of things that I, I can get razor sharp with just stones, and I get a lot of a lot of joy out of using sharpening stones. So I don't know if I like oil or water stones better. I have both; um, they both work good. So, but this is an oil stone set, and I think it's pretty neat. So I'm going to stop talking and wrap up this video. If you guys stuck around this long, thanks for watching. Click that subscribe button and uh, hit the thumbs up if you don't mind. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Chris here. That's stupid.